Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, <laughs> I kind of have sympathy, but the way they went about it, they should have just been locked away. So as we all know, the cruise industry right now is in a little bit of turmoil because of what's going on in the world situation. And it's a little bit frustrating to people who like the cruise, like myself or the travel industry as a whole, because there seems to be an over precaution on cruise ships and not an over precaution anywhere else in the travel industry. So one of the examples going on right now is in Reunion, a small island in the middle of, outside of the Indian Ocean. And, uh, well, there were some people there who didn't want cruise passengers getting off. Well, that's not, we'll get into that in a second. But they ended up showing up, a handful of people, and ended up throwing rocks and setting fires. And they didn't start by just, you know, protests and anything like that. They started throwing rocks at the tour buses and the tour vans leaving the cruise ship to head out on their vacation. Innocent cruise passengers who were just on vacation. It's not like it's a, you know, a regime that you're trying to break down or, you know, unfair policies or unfair laws, injustices or anything like that. It was cruise passengers going on vacation and they started throwing rocks at those people as far as i'm concerned the second that that happens that is attempt to injure and it's assault and you should immediately be arrested and locked up immediately no questions asked as soon as you throw a rock especially in this kind of situation like it's like i said it's not like it's hong kong or something like that right it is simply cruise passengers on vacations. So the police ended up showing up in gear and they you know, broke up some of the protesting and one person was arrested and a few in officers were injured. All craziness because people were trying to go on vacation. And uh, it's ridiculous in a way when you think about it. Now, what were they upset about? They were upset about not the cruise passengers. You know, the people they threw the rocks at. They were upset with the fact that the passengers were not properly being, you know, the temperatures weren't being taken getting off the ship to come to land at the cruise port terminal. Okay, I can see that. Right now in this day and age, I can see that. There should be good screening when this is happening. That should be happening everywhere in the world, actually. But uh, why are you taking your frustration out on the passengers and not the cruise port is the upsetting part to me. These people did nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing to anybody. And I have to stress this again other than the one princess cruise ship there have been zero zero cases of anything on a cruise ship in the entire world but guess what it's in italy now they're all italy's being you know shut down in places now it's oh it's in the united states now it's in canada now it's in uk now it's in russia now it's in iran now but no cases on a cruise ship well maybe you're not blocking the right places i don't know how many times i have to stress that time they're not doing anything in airports other than asking you a questionnaire there's no heat sensors there's no nothing but there are at the cruise terminals and they're getting even more stringent at the cruise terminals as more and more people are not allowed to get on a cruise ship now uh, new regulations just came into effect for the orlando terminal 
is that, oh, by the way, uh, if you're from Italy now, from one of those areas, or have contacted anybody in an area that's on a lockdown, you can no longer go on a cruise neither. Can you imagine if they start banning all Italians now, and all, uh, you know, that'll shut down MSC. <laughs> MSC is an Italian cruise line. It's crazy. But as far as the protesters are concerned, uh, you took your frustration out on the wrong people. You don't throw rocks at the innocent people. You don't throw rocks, period. You don't need to set fires. You protest. Peaceful protest will get you farther than throwing rocks and setting fires. It really will. Because when you do that, you look like jerks and you're criminals. And you should be arrested. Pretty simple. And that goes for anywhere in the world, really. Uh, unless it's like you're, you're trying to overthrow a regime. <laughs> That's a completely different story. But you're not trying to overthrow cruise passengers. In fact, you even when you're interviewed said, we welcome the cruise passengers. We need the cruise passengers for our economy. Then don't throw rocks at them when they're trying to get off the ship. Does that make sense? Does that sound like a logical thing for you to do? Unbelievable. I have no patience for people who are stupid. And these people were stupid. Plain and simple. Their cause might be good, but they're stupid. <laughs> There's other ways to do things. And to turn to violence is just not the way to go. Well, let me know what you guys think. Do you think sometimes you just have to? Uh, do you think this is one of those cases? Do you think those... You know, 2,000 people on vacation heading to an Indian island to go scuba diving are deserve to have rocks thrown at them because of something the cruise port's not doing? I don't. I don't think so. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hope you appreciate this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.